All right, so here on the channel, I've done non-spoiler and spoiler reviews for the latest Alien movie called Alien Romulus. So today, what I thought I would do, after giving it some thought, is I thought it'd be cool to come up with a Aliens film franchise tier list. So the way this works, in case you don't know, I'm going to rank the movies and tell you why they're ranked the way they are, with S tier being the highest and D tier being the lowest. So... Let's go ahead and get in here, okay? First, we're going to start with the order they are down here at the bottom. We're going to go like that. So the first film here is Prometheus. This is the prequel from Ridley Scott back in 2012. Um, I actually did not hate this movie. I know some people thought that it was going to be like a Xeno, you know, a Xenomorph war or whatever in the past. But it wound up going in a completely different direction. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that Ridley Scott tried something new however this is the kind of movie that you have to be in the mood to watch you know what i mean like this is not a comfort movie you put on in the background this is a movie that when you watch you have to pay attention intently because one of those kinds of thought-provoking films and unlike the original alien i thought the way they did it in prometheus was a little bit manufactured so i like it but i don't love it it's gonna be a b-tier movie then we have Aliens, 1986, James Cameron, S-tier. That is my favorite Alien movie. It's the best one, uh, especially the extended cut. I love it. I think the franchise should have just ended right there. You've obviously got the introduction of the Queen. You've got a great cast. Um, Michael Bean, Bill Paxton, Lance Hendrickson, Sigourney Weaver is always good. So S-tier. That is the best Alien movie. Then we have Alien 3. Now, there's two different cuts of Alien 3. And this is a movie that had a ton of behind-the-scenes problems. To be honest with you, I used to like it. Recently, I don't like it anymore. And what they did to Hicks and Newt was almost unforgivable. So, it's got some good parts, though. It's got some interesting parts. And I like the idea of the runner Xenomorph. So I think I'm going to make that a C tier. I, 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 Prometheus is more watchable if you ask me. But like, or maybe, maybe Alien, no, Alien is more watchable. Prometheus is just a better made movie. Then we have Alien vs. Predator. I knew what this was going to be from the very beginning. And when I saw it, it's just a complete mess. Video games are dope. Movie is not. I'm putting that in the C tier. Actually, let's put it in the D tier because anything C tier means that I can watch it and kind of be okay with it. D tier means I don't want to watch it at all. AVP Requiem. That's going in the same place. D tier. Cool ideas, but the movie just doesn't work. I actually skipped Alien Romulus. This is the newest Alien movie. Like I said before, the first two-thirds of it is fantastic. The last third, though, um, I've somewhat come around a little bit on the strange mutation in the last part of the movie. I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it yet, but I was very mixed on it. First, I was okay with it. Then I didn't like it. Now, I've kind of come around to it. So, I think Alien Romulus is probably going to be... I'm going to put it A tier. Am I going to put it S tier? I'm going to put it A tier because, oof. Then again, you know what? Let's put it B tier, but ahead of Prometheus. Romulus is better than Prometheus, but it's still A, B. Okay, that's the way I see it. It's A, B. Because that last third really did kind of jerk me around. Alien Covenant. Again, I actually like this movie. This movie was like Prometheus. It balanced things out. David was a great villain. Uh, we saw more Xenomorph stuff. I, the only issue with these prequels is that we never got the third and final prequel that was supposed to lead right into the first Alien movie. But on its own, Alien Covenant is an A-tier movie. I like it more than Prometheus. I would rather watch it over any of the other ones. So I would say A-tier. And actually, I want to make a quick change. I'm going to put Romulus also at A tier, but behind Isolation. So I, I just decided to make that change because there was a lot of good in Romulus. And I do hope that 
Fidi Alvarez comes back to do more Alien movies. I really do hope so because it is good, but I'd actually like Covenant a little bit more. Alien Isolation. That's a video game. Never played it. Not going to put it on the list. Alien Resurrection. I fucking hate this movie, dude. I fucking hate this movie. I've never liked it. I hate the premise. The only thing I like about the movie, the only thing, is Sigourney Weaver and Winona Ryder. That's it. I cannot stand this movie. I don't like watching it. I don't own it at all. Uh, it just... It, it, it's very similar to other pieces of sci-fi horror schlock that was coming out during that time. And it's just... I don't like it. I don't like that movie. I know it has its fans. I don't like it. Then we have Alien. The original 1979 Ridley Scott movie. This is the one that started it all. So, the thing about this film is that it's still great. It's very well made. I love how the science fiction looks in this movie. It feels like an extended episode of like The Twilight Zone. You, you know what I mean? It's got that kind of vibe to it where you're watching the movie and you're slowly discovering what the crew is discovering. And you have the situation with the uh, the android then you've got the 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 a crazy chest burster scene like it holds up i think a lot of young people who don't have any patience anymore the tiktok generation might not like the movie especially after you've seen the other ones cuz aliens does hundreds of xenomorphs and you've got more xenomorphs in other films uh, even AVP, and the, the issue is a lot of these younger people grew up with AVP, and that just isn't a good film, but some like it, I mean, it's got its fans, you know, like I said, it's got some good ideas, but the original Alien, as far as filmmaking goes, and story, and characters, it's great, I love the characters in this movie, they all come off real, like genuine people, not regular sci-fi, great script, and it started it all, brother. So you know what? That is A. It's S tier. S tier. You kind of knew this was going to be my list, but Aliens and Alien are the two best films. It should have stopped right there. Followed by Romulus, which is once again Ridley Scott. And Ridley Scott did produce Alien Romulus. Um, Co I'm sorry. Co Covenant, and, Covenant and Romulus. Then Prometheus. Then Alien 3. And obviously the extended cut of Alien 3 is a little bit bigger, but man, that scene where Sigourney goes into the lava is so poorly done, like, yeah. Then the AVP films down here, uh, and actually, I think I'm gonna move Alien Resurrection a bit higher up, I think, let's do that. Alien Resurrection is the worst of these three, so that's my tier list. Where would you rank the Alien movies yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what you want to see from an Alien film in the future. I just wanted to go back to like how Aliens was with Marines going into a nest but have some twists and turns and put it on a different like planet. That'd be dope. Or finally bring the Alien to Earth in modern times. Anyways, man, take care. See you soon.